in comparison to any Finnish university, has got way more funds than any university when it comes to research. Wow. So PhD research laboratories and of course the researchers are professors are because they have a lot and they need a lot of money okay. for the research. We're the most reputable university amongst the uh, Finnish companies and international ones here in Finland. So that's something. Very yeah, good. yeah, it is. Yeah, so this yeah. is the tech lounge, yeah, uh, which uh, students can come here and relax, uh, take a break during the classes or after classes. They can come relax, have coffee, and uh, the tech lounge is uh, sponsored by the tech, uh, the tech, which is the union for engineering uh, fraternity in Finland. So uh, they can come and watch. So high, whatever they want, yeah. just feel relaxed class or during the breaks you can just come and get yourself coffee or something, you know. Okay. So they can come here anytime and they can take over and they can And not only that, actually, I think I believe you just said, wasn't that even other students, for example, business like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can come and give it to the greenness. The the uh, the lake of Saima, mm -hmm. you know the lake Saima mm -hmm. lake. Yeah, right? yeah. You're looking at more Lappeenranta. Lahti is more of artistic campus. Okay. You know because it used to be factory. Ah, and okay. you could imagine turning that into university. The vibe is very different. Okay. Like it's very white one. Okay. And the uh, the daylight okay. comes in. Okay. You feel like. Um, there is some art on it. Ah, you feel like the people okay. have put some mind in, okay. into it. But La Penranta here, you feel like the modernity, the uh, not not for, of course in a positive way, and uh, the traditional way of building universities. Mm. You know those mm. you know mm. uh, state of art universities. But okay. Lahti has got a different vibe. We'll, we'll we'll have to. The first, the second best in the world. You can search for that. Yeah. The second best in the world when it comes to English college. Oh yeah. Like the first one is Helsinki. Yes. Yeah. Obviously. The second one is also in Finland. I mean the business part, right? I mean, I mean the the whole uh, um, LUT or just business. Business. Ah, okay. Business and uh, the engineering is the second as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Engineering is the second. Yeah, I think he's yeah. aware of that fact. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah, you know the achievement in short time. So it's it's just fantastic. Because we're not that old, you know. If you compare us to those who ranked first, wow. I think the work is just incredible. In, uh, really. <laughs> um, so, actually, um, what I recommend for every student comes to Lut is to study Finnish language. The Finns, as any as any uh, employer or regular Finns, like in the street. They don't expect you to speak fluent Finnish. They know Finnish is a very distinctive language. It's not Germanic language. Um, it's hard to learn, but they appreciate the fact that you learn the Finnish language that shows that your commitment that you are integrated in society. Um, of course, when it comes to work, it shows that you are committed to um, building up your career here in Finland. You may need only A to B1 level, um, and that's very possible to do here at Lut for free as a language. There is a language center. We very highly encourage our students to take up Finnish language courses. And of course, all the languages that you can learn, if you would like to do, for example, exchange pro programs, you would like to learn German language for free. We have German language, we have Japanese language, we have Chinese language, all for free here at LUT. Um, why I'm bringing up this point of Finnish language, not only because of your career, to find a job, because you, you need to show that in your CV that you have at least survival Finnish language. The other thing is that, mind you, once you graduate from Finland, you have two years, right? To stay in the country and look for a job, and that actually two years. If you don't want, if you don't want to exhaust that straight after your graduation, you have five time, five years time to leverage that two years. You can go back to your country mm -hmm. for two or three years and come back and to come Finland. Back, yeah. Yeah? yeah. So that's a real leverage. Some students leave Finland and they think, okay, this is not my right country, and some of them come back. 
So once you come back, you have the opportunity to come back because you have got five years time um, to decide whether you want to come back in these two years or not. So if you're learning Finnish language, and then probably in those five years time, you're somewhere else, so you'd like to improve it and come back to Finland to find a job or reintegrate the society, it's Italian for them. That's very important information yeah. that, you know, once you complete your studies and you stay here some time and then you have, you, know, you can go back and if, if you decide to come back, you've got right to come back. Exactly. So that's very, very yes. interesting. It is. Yeah. It that is. is something that international students should know. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Very small window. Yeah. And then they produce so much. In that Within that short time, yeah? Within a very short time. And for us, back in Africa, we have January to January. Mm. Okay. Mm. January to January. Around the we can do anything that we want. Yeah. Okay. Even if it's a dry season, mm. we can go. For example, I come from Uganda. It is uh, the place is called the Great the Great Lakes region. Mm. Okay. Mm. We have so many lakes around. Mm. Somebody can actually go get a truck, put water, mm. take it to his farm. But mm. the productivity are different. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Here they have a very small window, harsh weather, but they produce, you know, they get most from what they do. Mm. And they store, then mm. they store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it is very important to mm. study or to have a focus about sustainability mm. because, to be honest, we have so many uh, cattle that we get lots of milk, but most of it goes to waste. Mm. Okay? Mm. For example, they say Finland uh, consumes more coffee per capita. I heard from Anastasia that it was short doses, but I got it. Yeah, yeah. You, you're Sri Lankan, right? Yes. No. You're Sri Lankan? Yeah. yeah.